Hello, my name is Cheris, and I work as an engineering technician for Terracon Engineering. Um, I'm responsible for uh, establishing structural integrity of buildings while they're being built. Uh, what that means is that when a project gets designed, there are certain specifications that it has to meet as far as uh, the soils, the concrete, um, if any structural steel is going to be put in place in the concrete. Um, someone has to be there to verify that, and that is what I am responsible for. In any given day, I will go into trench boxes, go way down, sometimes up to 12 feet into the ground to look at the uh, materials at the bottom. Uh, what I am looking for is, are those materials moving? Is that sand sinking? Is it settling? Or is it nice and firm? And they can come up and put a pipe in it or a column footing or something along those lines. Um, I will also look at concrete. Uh, if concrete is too wet, it is very weak and will not bear weight. And obviously, if you're putting a big building on it, that's not what you want as, as a crack in the concrete. Um, I also do other things like uh, looking at structural steel, which if you've ever seen a bridge, you'll look at overpasses and they'll have while they're being built and they'll have those long pieces of metal sticking out. Those are there to reinforce the concrete. And if they're not placed properly, the bridge can collapse. And that's another aspect of what I do. I go and I measure those, make sure they're long enough that it's the right size and it's in the correct place. Um, obviously, with that being the nature of my job, the stress can be very intense. And a lot of that comes from if, as an engineering technician, you fail to do your job, someone can get hurt. The building could fall, uh, pipe could settle, uh, which would then, of course, pollute the potable drinking water uh, if that pipe were to break and crack. Uh, there's also, whenever you're on any big project, there's a lot of people that you have to answer to. And they're not always as patient with you as you need them to be because they have people that they're answering to. And so you do tend to get pulled in a lot of different ways. Um, the other sort of stress, source of stress is the working hours. Um, some weeks I work a 40 hour week. I come in at eight and I leave at 4.30. And then there are other days where I start at 3 o'clock in the morning, I don't leave till 2 in the afternoon, and I get up and I do that all over again for four or five days in a row. And when you get that tired, you get really irritable very quickly, and it doesn't always make it easier to, to deal with the stress from just being overtired. One of the neat things about this line of work is that there's no specific education requirement outside of a high school diploma. Um, when I started doing this, that's all I had was a high school diploma. I had been a receptionist with no background in concrete, engineering, construction, nothing. And I've actually managed to make a really good, a really good career thus far out of it. Um, some things that you might want to consider before going off into this. Um, sometimes you have to get creative. You have to think on your feet. Um, you will have scenarios come up that you weren't necessarily prepared for. And you'll have to make a quick phone call or find some plastic to insulate some concrete specimens you've made. And it's all because the weather's changed in, in, in the span of 12 hours. Uh, you have to have a willingness to be dirty. Uh, this is not a glamorous job. Uh, I've spent many a days knee deep in mud and <laughs> it, everywhere um, in, my, you know, in my shirt, in my ears, down my boots. It, it's, you have to be willing to, to go there. And, and, Bugs are also a thing. Uh, if you ever do any work in South Georgia, uh, the, the bugs will carry you away. Uh, <laughs> I spent three months doing that. Um, time management is a huge thing. Um, it's nothing to have to do three or four jobs in a day. And you have to be able to get to all three of those jobs within a certain time frame and carry out all the testing that's required. And sometimes that can be a bit of a challenge. So you really have to be able to, to manage time and not let it get not let it overly stress you out. Um, as far as strength, we do pick up a few heavy things, but a lot of times I will ask for help. Uh, that way I don't strain myself or cause injury to myself. The one thing I have to say that I did not expect was to actually enjoy this. I never thought that I would enjoy jumping in mud puddles, playing in sand, uh, working with concrete, and you know, I've seen all kinds of things and done all kinds of things. I've worked in solar fields, um, butane tanks, and I really enjoy it, even though most of the time I'm dirty and I smell funny. Um, 
if you're good at math, math will definitely help you out. Um, and in, especially when it comes to doing your soils testing. I would have to say the best part of the job is my office changes every day. Uh, right now I'm working on a big hangar that's going up for an airport. Uh, last summer I actually did a bunch of concrete testing and watched the sunrise over the Blue Ridge Mountains and that was how I spent my day. I drank coffee, did a little bit of concrete testing and then watched the sunrise. And that's not unusual. There's many times I've watched sunrises, I've watched, um, I've done a bunch of jobs on the beach. So, you know, I'll, I'll get off work and know I'm going to be at the beach so I can just run straight to the beach. I don't even have to go, you know, it's like, great, get off work, already here. Um, those are definitely some of the better aspects. If you, if, if you don't want to sit behind a desk, you don't have to. My office, you know, your office is, is wherever you are that day. And sometimes you'll be in the same place for a few days and other times you're in multiple places in an afternoon. Um, but as far as the, 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 the less, less pleasurable parts of the job, um, testing concrete in the wintertime. Uh, you are, not only are you dirty, you are now cold and wet. Uh, whenever you test concrete, you do have to put your bucket, your hands in buckets of ice cold water to get your tools. Uh, if your tools are not wet, the concrete will stick to them. So you have to keep those clean. And of course, the water is, gets very cold. It comes out of the back of the concrete trucks. And so for a solid hour, you're just cold and wet and miserable, and it really makes you question your career choices, even though you know it gets better. Um, one of the other things that, that does tend to wear on you at times is everything is constantly in flux. The only constant is change. You know, I do have to work some weekends. Uh, sometimes my hours are really long, and it makes planning things hard because you don't always know where you are the next day or where you're gonna be that afternoon. And of course, if you're on a job and something comes up, well, you have to stay. And even if that does mean sacrificing, you know, what it is you like to do. Um, and again, you know, you work two or three Saturdays in a row, you're like, okay, I really want like my full two day weekend now, but it's what you do in, in, as part of the job. Um, and it's not, and even that's not without reward, uh, because eventually it's like, okay, cool. This is someone that we can rely on who will get it done and, and make magic happen. And that's, that's always a good thing as well. So a few little final, uh, tips and tricks that I have not shared with you yet. If you can be creative, if you can pay attention to minute details, um, if you enjoy problem solving, there, there's multiple times a day where someone will say, hey, I have this problem, this isn't working, what do I do? And I have to sit there and go, okay, well, here's where we need to start. And a lot of times that doesn't work. So we have to find another route. So if, you know, if you were the kid that sat at home and played Mario, this is great. Um, <laughs> you can, um, you can definitely, I mean, it's, it's, you have to be creative. You have to have those, those, or the, you'd be very detail oriented. Um, the, the slightest, those specifications in the drawings are written for a reason. And if they are not followed to the letter, bad things happen. So you have to be able to pay attention to those small details. Um, if you do enjoy the outdoors, again, this is a, a, something I would highly recommend. Um, just simply for the fact of all the different terrain you see, where you go, what you do. Um, I actually did uh, solar fields a couple of years ago, and those were fun because all three of them were in a different space. Um, but it, you were out in the wood. We saw deer. Uh, we had a bear wander up on one. <laughs> so uh, you do see the wildlife as well. I really wish that I had, had knew about this line of work when I was 18 because I would have done it then. <laughs>